I'm Masara Glunder. I train at Max Gym and I'm from Amsterdam. I'm fighting uh, Nicholas Larsen. So, uh, as a replacement fighter, he's a good guy, but he, he doesn't stand a chance against me. He doesn't fight, you know? He, uh, I've seen his last fight against a Thai guy, running away, moving away. He doesn't come to fight, and I'm going to bring the fight to him. I usually fight 65, but for me, fighting is fighting, you know? If I, I spar with heavyweight guys in the gym, I spar with Myrtle in the gym, and they're also not holding back, you know? So, and these guys are not better than the guys in our gym. Uh, I'm always prepared to fight, you know? We always train hard at, uh, in our gym. So if they ask me, even if it was one day before, one hour before, I would still say yes. So. When was your last fight before, Rick? Uh, one and a half week ago against uh, Andy Sauer in uh, MMA rules. Two hours notice also. Is this your thing, short notice? Or? They always ask me or they ask Mike and then uh, I always say yes, you're a fighter or not, you know? Um, tell me a little bit about your, your personal background, how you ended up in this life, because your surname is familiar to me. Yeah, my uh, dad was a fighter, he had his retirement fight uh, a few weeks ago. His name was Rodney Glinder. Uh, my grandfather, so his dad, he was a, he was a karateka, karate man. Uh, and uh, I wanted to fight on my own. I, my dad put me on soccer. I think he, he didn't want me to fight, but when I was 10 years old, he put me on kickboxing, but he put me at a different gym, and that was Max Gym. And since then, uh, yeah, I, since, since I was 10 years old, so now 12 years, I train at Max Gym. And uh, for me, it's the best thing ever that happened in my life because my dad wasn't always home. I lived al alone with my dad and Mike was there. He, you know, he raised me. He teach me, learned me all the things in life, how to do things, you know, stay humble and stuff. And uh, he was the closest thing uh, as family as I got, you know, what I've got in this life. And he, he gave me this chance. He put up a lot <laughs> with me, you know. I, uh, I even uh, fucked up one time and he still took me back. So uh, that's it.